in the previous video we have seen how to create a flow now the flow has started running so if I go back to Salesforce and if I update this particular contact record then the expectation is that description field over here which is null or blank right now will get updated by the response which comes from the web service so just I'll just go ahead and edit this particular one let me just specify a dummy birthday hit save the record is getting saved if I go back to the design center now all these green line means that these cards have run successfully now let me go back and refresh this particular contact details and look oh, look over here the data has come from the web service so let me go back and stop it so just to reiterate we had a web service which we wanted to call from Salesforce and what we did instead of writing any apex code we made use of any point platform to do it if I go back to my presentation the sequence of steps were the trigger event we connected to Salesforce trigger event was anytime a record is modified then we stored the Salesforce record ID because we wanted to update that record later in the flow then we call the web service we transformed it because the web service is going to return me a JSON whereas Salesforce has a different format which is array of record so I need to transform and then at the very end I went ahead and updated the Salesforce record thank you